Good morning, and it's Friday, which means after today, I get two days off at home. And for today, I'm in the Mercedes, which for some reason have the weirdest type of cup holders. So this one, because it's so shallow on this side, when I put the cup in, it feels like it's gonna fall out. It's probably the most sturdiest one out of the three, but it don't sit right. This one, for some reason, I don't know what type of cup holders they cups they've been using. And then that one isn't too bad, I suppose. Still not as snug as the man trucks though. I still find it quite weird that they have keyless keys for these trucks to start them off. So it's a key fob with this instead. That's the fuel tank, so don't worry about that. So yeah, we've got a fuel fob instead and it just feels weird, like having it in your pocket then then starting a the truck up as you would. Because of these type of key fobs, a lot of drivers take them home. <laughs> they do. Now, which one it is to lower the middle axle? I'm having to guess that, that one. That might be the end one, so it might be that one. Let's check. Yep, it's that one. That's one of the other problems you've got about being in another truck that's not your regular one. It's getting used to all the different switches. And for today's little adventure, we're doing multi drop in the class one unit today. So I've got one drop around do, 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 Altrincham, and then from Altrincham, rest of them around Warrington. Eight in total, so eight different locations, and I think it's 24 pallets all in all as well. Oh, got a bit of rust on my arm. Old trailers. For today, you gotta see a little bit of what it's like as a multi-drop class one driver. A little bit of a tip as well, if you've never done HGV driving before and you just pass your test and you do multi-drops as a job, so a little bit of a tip for you on this one. When you get your run sheet in the morning, it'll be something similar layout to this. So on the left-hand side, you normally get the address of the company you're delivering to. So I'm just making these up for purpose of this. So an example, got Amazon, Tesco, Asda, Costco, etc. on the left-hand side. And then the right-hand side would normally say how many pallets you got delivering to Amazon and then more details about the pallet. But when you're doing your checks and securing your load, if you go around and then you see where the pallets are on the back of your trailer and then you just put like passenger side and then the Tesco one is on the driver side. Asda, I've got two on the driver side. Uh, two driver and then Costco I've got one passenger and then I've got one or then I've got two on the drive side so that's the three pallets etc so when you pull up at Amazon you know you've got one pallet and it's on the passenger side when you go Tesco's it's on the driver side when it's at Asda you got two on the driver side Costco one on the passenger and then two on the driver side now the reason why you want to do this is because when you pull up to the jobs you don't want to be doing up your passenger side curtain find out the pallet's not there and then you gotta close it all do all your straps and then open up the driver's side then you go right okay whereabouts is it so a little bit of a tip for you and if you're in a double deck so just put like pt so it's like passenger top deck or ptm so like passenger top deck middle so then you know whereabouts they are when you arrive at the jobs something little for you so if the camera is a little bit more shakier than usual at the moment it's the angle that I've got, I've got it on, I've got a, like a little bracket holding on to the, one of the arm holders. Obviously, not in my own truck, I've not got the normal brackets up. So. Apologies about that one in advance. Hopefully it's not too bad. It, has, it does have anti-shake on it as well, built in. So hopefully it should stabilise it that little bit more for you. It does feel weird when you're driving a different truck. But on a good note though, Looking through the list, I know exactly where every single business is. So I don't need sat nav for today. That's quite good. One less thing to mess about with. Job one over at Altrincham, done. And before I forget, quick shout out to Dean. Thank you very much, mate. He's one of our subscribers and I seen him the other day in St. Helens give us a little bit of flash and performance up. So cheers, dude. Some of the eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed we've got a little bit of a swelling on this side of my cheek. Um, that is because, I do think it is because, uh, I bit the inside of my cheek the other night, I don't know, I must have done it in sleep or something, but I've got a bit of a, like an ulcer now of where it is, so it's a little bit of swollen up from it, and yeah, it's a little bit of a pain in the backside of it right now. But on another note, I definitely need to get this hair cut over the weekend, Sunday, I think I'll probably I'll do it, Saturday, quite a busy day on Saturday. But enough about my hair and my cheek, let's get on with our journey. And our next job is over at Great Sankey. Two of them are pretty much 
in the same yard so nice and easy first one's going to be one pallet off collecting five pallets and then the second one is going to be one pallet getting took off let's go around all these little bits I do hope you all had a great weekend as well folks I know it's Friday today recording it but you've been watching it on a Monday oh god them uh, potholes send the camera a little bit shaky I do apologise for that I'll try and show you later on when I pull over what type of camera setup we've got at the moment But to get to Sankey for where I'm at at the moment in Ultringham is jumping straight down the M56, up the M6, onto the M62 and then coming off by the Omega site a little bit near Ikea and then I'll cut through the back roads there Shouldn't really be too bad this time of day um, The time at the moment is 10am So we've got plenty of time to do all these and fingers crossed for a good early finish today. Say early finish, and you're able to win five and six. <laughs> Feels a little bit weird as well. I feel quite refreshed today. Nice little lion. Didn't start until 8 a.m. this morning. Which is a nice difference. Considering I started at 3 a.m. on the Monday morning. Or was it 4 a.m.? I can't remember. It's 3 or 4. I lose track of days, I really do. Merck's pulling power isn't too bad to be fair. I just don't like the inside of the cab as much. I don't think it's as good, or as, well, it's a lot smaller and cramped up than the man's. That's definitely for sure. I do prefer the MAN. But the pulling power is not too bad. And the turn, turning circle is alright. So I can't be too harsh on them. So last time I did drive the Mercs, I was a little bit harsh on it, I'm not gonna lie. I think I was a little bit too critique of it. But once you get used to them, they're not that bad. But personally I wouldn't pick one over a MAN. Coming off now the M62. I can't remember what junction it was, <laughs> I just came off that. Uh, the van then in the wrong lane. Luckily, keep an eye on your passenger side mirror, you always got to look at that. So seeing the van, he was in the lane to go down towards Ikea. But then he's indicated last second and carried on driving forward, so now went to the side of the trailer. So I was keeping an eye on the passenger side mirrors. Managed to just slow down a little bit for him so he didn't get caught with the trailer. Alright then, there are loads of new build houses around here. Absolutely loads. It's been a while since I've come down this little section. Yeah, about six months at last I came down here. It seems like they're just throwing them up left, right, and centre everywhere. Maybe a little bit of land these days, isn't it, to try and build a house? We're at the back of all the Amazon. Sites. I think expensive as well. I bet they are. I think about two bedroom house for like 350 grand or something stupid. I think when we looked a few years back, it was like, nope, not paying that much money for uh, one of these houses. I don't think they're worth it. If you wonder what that beeping is, by the way, it's some of the sensors run on the left hand side. So, for example, if anything gets a little bit close to like the trailer or the cab, it'll just give it like a little beep. But it's a little bit oversensitive in this truck. It's always on the left hand turn as well. 
picks up like the lamp posts and stuff on the side of the road. Good little feature to have though. Straight across there. I thought something was coming out the back of that there. I've seen a bit of steam cloud coming out. I think it's one of the. Um, what do you call it? It's like a cauldron type, isn't it? For tarmac, it just keeps it nice and warm. Yeah, I'm going to call it a cauldron, but why not? too far off now, only about a mile or two. Ah, there you go, look, close the road now, do some resurfacing by the looks of it. Try and roll up to the lights. In theory, you want to try and not actually stop the truck in its movements. So if you come to a standstill and then it's a little bit harder than to set off. But if you keep it nice and rolling like I am now at the moment, by the time the lights change, we're just creeping very slowly. Hopefully it'll change in a second. No, 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 no. No, I've missed it. <laughs> well, you get the drift, don't you? So when he's set off again, if you roll in that slight little bit, it's easier to accelerate then for the truck. I remember when they used to do driving assessments on people and you get some drivers where to just floor it right up to the, the red light and then put the foot down last second and then sat around but where if you see say for example now if you need to start braking at this roundabout move the accelerator just roll towards it feather the brake a little bit in case you have to actually stop and then straight across when it's clear like so we just do the same principle really as when you do our traffic lights as well Two and three, and just over it, Sankey Bridges. Uh, it's like a little industry estate hidden out of the way. So you just gotta do the left of these lights, cross over the bridge, and it's just around there. Gate Wharf Industry Estate. It's really annoying that beeping noise, isn't it? What's the sensor picking up on? Ah, oh, Mercedes trucks. I thought they were annoying. Side. There's my entertainment for the next 10 minutes or so. I've got to admit, that does look pretty fun. <laughs> Especially when it's not wind and rain anyway. If it's nice like summer's day off, it'd be a great job, that. Yeah, it is pretty cool. 
Reminds me of them grabbers from the arcade machines when you were a kid. When you try and grab all the soft toys, like teddy bears and stuff. Makes it look easy, doesn't it? To be fair as well, it's taking them off pretty quickly. Which one's he going for? Is he going for the end one? Yep. Yeah. I wonder what the lifting weight is of them things are as well. Jobs are good and finally out and the time it's quarter past 11 now, so I don't need to take a break just yet. I'll probably drive another, do another hour's worth of work and then I'll probably take a break about half 12. So I'm going over to Westbrook now. Back to the Westbrook Boulevard, or Europa Boulevard, shall I say. Ten minutes drive or so, it's not too far. On to the next one. What's this now? The one in Ultringham, two in Great Sanke, one in Gemini. And now I'm on the second one in the Gemini Retail. I've got the cups again, oh my word. <laughs> ah, pardon me. Ah, okay, what the other problem is, I need to turn left in here. I've got enough turning space. I think I'll just make it. Yeah, just about. Just got to take it easy to make sure the trail doesn't cut the corner. And in we go. Because the forklift driver is on his break for another half hour, I'm going to skip this one and I'll come back to it a little bit later on because I've got another two, collect or two deliveries just around the corner. So I might as well get them off first, take my break, and then I'll come back here in about an hour. Let's try and get space so we can get out. Beeping. I don't know what to have for my dinner. There's a McDonald's there, so it's quite tempting. But I have bought a sandwich with me today. I've got some ham and pickle lily sandwiches. And I've never tried pickle lily for the first time, so yes, I've never tried it before, so it's gonna be the first time now. And yeah, let's 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 see how that goes. Let me know down below if you like pickle lily. I'm just gonna let this lady cross with a pram. That's to stop all the traffic for her. Yeah, it's about 200 yards up there it is. The next delivery point. That's them two done. Now it's time to reverse straight out of this place. Before there's nowhere to park or turn around in front. Please keep an eye on the mirrors as well, hopefully you can see. But what you can see, that's what I can see out of my window right now. Go! 
a lot. It's got to take it nice and easy coming up to this junction. It is a dead end anyway, so if anybody's coming down, you've got to slow right down to turn left or right into one of these little courtyards. So I don't need to worry about people speeding. It's only about 100 yards away. I'm going to keep it in this view. Give you a bit of a different camera angle, I suppose. I don't have a clue if you can hear me or not. <laughs> then I can get out. parts on either side you see so I need to be a little careful with it Let's try and top the trailer in a little bit more use as much space as you can inside the yard I think the bin truck guy, I think he's on his brake at the moment, so he can't move. Take it nice and slow. Make sure I'm past that van. Yep, yeah, perfect. Yeah, straighten up now. enough space for him to get back, loads of room on each side to do the loading, jobs are good in. So the reverse that you just seen me do, I came in from this gate here, I'd swing a trailer around, strain it up, then tuck myself in and then snake it round. So I tried to pick a lily, not really a big fan of it. So McDonald's, here I come. Since that's the place that I'm delivering to, I may as well. Yes please. Time is now 10 to 2. And I finished my break and we're going back to Rexall. Hopefully the fourth driver's not on a second break. 
get them pallets took off then I've got one more collection around this area as well we need to collect and then I'm not too sure after that either some more collections in the area or taking my truck EXZ over to MTC in Kirby for its service so it's either one or the other I'm not too sure what they want me doing And because of me hours as well at work or this week, I've got half half uh, early finish. I say half an early finish because four o'clock, maybe four or five o'clock is probably the latest I can work. Five o'clock probably the latest. Started at eight o'clock today as well, so my hours aren't even that long today, which is good. But I think we're trying to plan a four o'clock finish for me anyhow. I feel worse having that break. I feel a little bit more tired when I've been sat around. Got a little bit more editing done, so it's not too bad. Always saves me a little bit of time, you see, when I get home tonight. If I'm a dinner break, I have to get 15 minutes POA and stuff. Do a bit of video, video editing, and you know, it just helps it go out a little bit quicker, doesn't it? So I like spend more time with the family when I get home. So that's the secret about a quick turnaround when you're doing these vlogs. You gotta do the editing when you can. Time is now half past two. And I'm just making my way back to the yard. And yeah, that is me done for the day. So all the collections have been completed. All the deliveries have been done. Um, as it stands as well, there won't be any vlog tomorrow. On Tuesday that is. Uh, Due to I'm off Monday um, as it stands, so I've got like a bit of a, um, a day off on Monday, and yeah, we've got a nice long weekend. Uh, yes, that's pretty much it, really. So let's make your way back to the yard, drop the trailer, get it sorted, and the weekend can commence. So I'd make a way back to Haydock, go cut through Newtler Willows. I'm hoping all the road work's been done anyway. Uh, the reason why I've gone this way is my last collection was in, well, it's just off Winnet Road, really. So it's just easy to go straight across the roundabout, really, instead of jumping on the M62, then going around the M6 northbound. It can be a little bit hit and miss as well on a Friday. So I might as well avoid that if possible. if it's uh, shaking quite a lot as well the camera <laughs> so this is going to be a new cut through when that's done uh, that old building site we just drove past it's going to be a new like industry park and um, it's meant to be really really big you can actually get to the m6 from where we are now straight to it so it's the junction for where Winnie road is the one before Haydock. It joins up to that junction but on the other side of the motorway so it's got like a little bit of a bridge that goes over the motorway and then there's going to be units on either side of the motorway as well which will be quite good when it's all built plenty of new jobs and that are available for you so if you're in the area looking for jobs there'll be some they'll open up shortly when they've finished building on there I'd say that probably be like two years time really wouldn't it be realistic there One of the best things about finishing early, spending time with the family. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Just like that, it's three o'clock and it's time for me to go home. So if you did enjoy the video, don't forget that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. As always, stay safe out there. Bye for now.